Hey, so, uh, we're at Playa del Fuego, which is the Mid-Atlantic Regional Burn, and uh, here you can see we have the pieces of trebuchet that we've spent the past couple months building. Uh, it, it, it actually breaks down to about seven pieces. There's the swing arm, we have a pair of A-frames that are mounted on either side of the base. The base is right here, we have our axle, we have a whole bunch of weights, and we have a toolbox full of uh, the rigging and everything. So, uh, it usually takes about 45 minutes to an hour to set up the complete thing, so uh, we're going to get started on that and show you guys all the steps right now. built as you can see right here. Um, this took us a few months worth of uh, kind of experimentation to get to and I worked out a lot of the mathematics of this using a scale model made out of popsicle sticks and throwing uh, little washers actually. So I'll real quickly take you guys through all the pieces here. Uh, we weren't able to make any angle cuts with any boards. So you can see right here all of the wood is uh, straight cut. We just got everything cut at uh, Home Depot and essentially bolted it all together. The construction of these A-frames here is such that we have two lengths going down this side and one length going down this side and a single board sandwich between the two up front that leads back to being sandwiched between two boards right here. And we bolt it onto uh, this base piece right at the bottom. Um, the main swing arm here is, I believe, one eight-foot piece of uh, two by four and then a pair of four foots that are bolted together with it uh, just to give it a little bit of added strength. Um, we discovered using the scale models that the distance you want to have for the uh, axle is approximately one fifth of the length of the swing arm away from uh, the point where you've got the counterweight and then the length of the sling down here is about the distance from the swing arm all the way up to the axle right here. Um, the big kind of aha moment we had when we were doing this was figuring out how to stick the weights. So what we wound up doing was improvising these designs kind of like a T-bar. Uh, there's a board that um, essentially both this and this are uh, one inch thick cast iron bars from Home Depot. This is a six inch and this is a 12 inch. Uh, the six inch just acts as a hinge right here. And then we've got this uh, 12 inch all the weights on. Uh, the axle for the trebuchet itself actually, this was one of the harder things for us to find because we originally used a, uh, uh, a steel bar just like these or an iron bar, but they were hollow so they were going to bend after that. So what we wanted to do is to a, uh, a steel works in Manassas. We found a 
one inch thick bar that was about the same size as those iron bars. And as you can see right here, it's actually a completely solid bar. It weighs about five pounds, and the good news is, is that we've yet to see it bend at all. So our, our payload has been uh, this here soccer ball, and we've been getting with the good tailwind behind it up to uh, up to 180 feet of uh, projection on it. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it right here now for you folks. So check it out in three, two, one, fire in the hole.